Hello and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back, and in this episode we'll be going on through the pits. At least I think this is the pits, yeah. Yeah, the it's, it's the pits. The last one. And we are introduced to, well not introduced to, but we are have to deal with these enemies in a 3D space. The uh, diving birds. No, hit the TNT. Hit it. Because the TNT hit do the, count. Hit the box. Hit the box. You you also have to you have to detonate the TNTs even when they're right next to nitro boxes, by the way. Because if you yep. hit the nitro detonator, it does not it because it happens off screen, it does not uh, cause splash damage for objects that are nearby. Yep, yep. And they also don't introduce uh, double they also don't introduce double fruiting on the on the stripe boxes until crash three, so you have to get the fucking wumper fruit one at a time, which is slow and stupid. <laughs> It's slow. I wouldn't say it's stupid, but you know, um, it, it's stupid when you I get am, to the uh, bonus round. <laughs> it's stupid in a couple in a couple of bonus games, to be perfectly honest. But that's honestly the only um, real uh, area that I've ever had issues with them. Because um, uh, like one of the later bonus games requires you to uh, attempt to abuse the that mechanic and fuck this part of the pits. This is the only part of the pits that I actually have a big issue with. You need to backtrack in order to get those two boxes. But it's just those two boxes. This part is the shits. Eh, nah. It's annoying, sure, but it's not that terrible. It's very stressful, just, though, because I didn't kill all the turtles on the way through. It's alright, just, just pretend that there's a boulder chasing you. You can do it. Well, there will be in a moment, but... Yeah. I bet you weren't expecting a turtle. <laughs> Mostly because I didn't kill all the turtles. You, I really should have killed all the turtles going through this path. It makes this uh, this trick backwards significantly less stressful. But, you know, I'm an idiot, so... Okay, and pathway number two. Of three. Because you have to go through you the first pathway a second time. <laughs> uh, you do have to go through all um, uh, both pathways... And the and the uh, the first one uh, twice in order to actually get you know the box gem for this level and that's a thing that'll happen multiple times throughout Crash 2 and it's annoying each time it happens. It seems to happen especially so in these forest themed levels. Yeah, Woo! but because I died there, I have to get all the uh, uh, boxes that are after this checkpoint again. It's okay. At least you don't have to get the ones you already got. No, I do. I do. Yeah. Uh, Damn it. Ah, again, it too, Brute. Uh, well, the uh, the birds are not called Brute. Um, given the fact that these are actually uh, these are supposedly Brio's minions, but I don't think that they were made by Brio. I'm pretty sure these were actually made by Cortex. They they probably probably made by Cortex. It's not it's not exactly. Oh right, no Brio. Brio is the inventor of the Evolvo Ray, so all of the creatures that are not animatronic, that are just like mutant size or super strength, those are Embryo's creations. The robots are all from Dr. Cortex. Well, here's the issue that I have with that. These bir the, the birds and turtles are, are, are clearly part robots, <laughs> but as we find out later, it's Embryo that's sending the, the units after us. But Embryo is our friend. He said so. No, Embryo is not our friend. He just, uh, he just uh, is fighting against Cortex. The friend, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Except Cortex is our friend in this game, remember? Oh yes, yeah. steel crates. What a little mystery you create. <laughs> not really. Um, but in order to open them, we have to use Rash's new move, the <laughs> block, the belly block. <laughs> Yes, and then when you do the <laughs> then then the crates are easy prey. Indeed. How good is your Most accuracy? Most really dislike the belly flop. I do not. I think that although it is slow, it is oh. not so slow that it's actually a, that it's actually a hassle. So I can deal with it. I like it when the I like it how in Insane Trilogy that when Crash falls from an especially tall tall height that when he lands he actually like falls on his face. <laughs> I probably yes, you must. The crash you must trilogy, learn. But <laughs> uh, it's I want. I, I might. Own. 
I might end up doing crashes one and three. I might. I know crash just three to is say worth that doing, I did don't it. bother yourself with crash one. Crash one is not worth doing. I'll make it as long as you who are watching this video promise me that you're gonna watch it because I, I like I like it when people watch our videos. <laughs> as do I. Okay, box so number fifty three. Uh, well, I'm finally getting over influenza. And have you had much well, uh, time to continue moles. your reading of, uh, of the Count of Monte Cristo? To tell you the truth, no. I mean, I was I was out of ac I was completely out of action for two days straight. I couldn't get out of bed, and then after that, um, I think I think I was I was afraid of contaminating the book because. You know, I kind of, I kind of got the sense that like I just spread this ilk everywhere. <laughs> everything I touch is like King mm, Midas turning color. everything in his into this disgusting silver. <laughs> All right, here we have the first of the Boulder Chase levels. I like this level. I do. Done. 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 <laughs> And they animated Crash as early as this game, so that he'll notice there's a giant boulder chasing him, and he gets all scared. Yep. Oh, my that ass! That happens to me on multiple occasions. <laughs> oh, my ass again! Oh! <laughs> it's a little close there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, Crash, slide actually jumping. Runs fa uh, cr Crash runs faster than the boulder rolls, though. So, he's not actually in any significant danger, usually. Although, it pushed me through the checkpoint, bastard. <laughs> yeah, so, I was at... Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. It's when, it's when it forces you to start going left and right that it starts catching up with you. And only somewhat there. do 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 No, he drove bars. And now it falls down the pit. Uh, Alright. Demon Boulder has left. Jesus. It's not this one, it's not this one, Gerdet. Not, Damn not it, Gerdet. that one. <laughs> I'm, think, I'm thinking of a pit later on in the game, specifically for, from Bear Down. Unbearable. It, it is, it is unbearably <laughs> hidden. Because this, this game wants you to pay attention to the patterns, and it wants you to ask questions when they break tropes. He did not break that nitro crate. Oh, that, my that's God. That's the one you... that I missed. Holy shit. That is bullshit. Yeah, we, we do not get the box gem because... We don't get the box gem because of that. He jumped over the goddamn nitro crate. Oh. Right, because there's no because there's no nitro detonator in this level. That that I don't think there I've ever a, seen that happen. It can happen because the uh, the uh, boulder's path is not as uh, ouch. Oh wait, maybe uh, maybe I missed a different one. I don't think so because this puts me right uh, back at yeah right here. So yeah, <laughs> you see what I'm trying what I'm trying to show off here is that you can actually get that one up. Uh, without uh, without exploding the two TNT uh, crates uh, 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 that are sandwiching it. Right. You have to jump first. You didn't jump. <laughs> yeah. All right. This and, and here here is where, where the crates become two, a problem. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. <laughs> For the record, viewers, it is ten bounces on, on each of the striped crates. One. No, it's eight! It's fucking eight! No, it's ten. <laughs> I'll kill it's you! Ten. <laughs> One, two, three, four, You're five, late. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm probably behind. I'm, I'm always behind. It's okay, Cloud. You're only like a second behind. Anyway, um, with that out of the way... Uh, yeah, um, I have been, uh, finally, uh, trying to, uh, set up some other, uh, from other specific stuff for our, uh, for our, uh, Rocket Rabbit channel. Expect other playthroughs that are going to be out eventually, um, at some point. They are in, they are in production process now, okay? 
That is the important thing. This, uh, getting, oh though, getting these uh, crates is actually a really uh, big issue. Uh, Got him. Oh but, my god, yeah, again, but you're still, you're still short by one. Because the the one nitro box, we don't get the box gem. Box gem. God damn it. So it's okay. I mean, you already, you already, you know, counted out. Because you're not going to go back for it, are you? No, I'm not going back for it. Okay. I think I think the I think the boulder will have to have the satisfaction of knowing that it has held on to its gem. We are not without enemies. Some of them you may even recognize. Although they cannot harm you inside this warp room, they can attack you on your way to the next one. Which is odd because that means that these warp rooms are not actually connected except in the post game when they totally are. Nah. Oh yeah, that load that load and save wall the right there, the that way, that becomes that load and save wall right there actually becomes the boss portal. Uh in Insane Trilogy? In Insane Trilogy, because it uses autosave, so you don't you don't have to manually save your game, so they took that space and they actually made use out of it. Huh. It also allows you to it also allows you to retry bosses. Except I think Which the original let in... you do that too. Yeah, you had to input you had to input a button combination whilst you were going in between uh, the worlds. Just just hold triangle actually. If you hold triangle while you're going up the elevator, it resets the boss. Okay. But this is you get to fight he Tootsie Rollhead. Uh, Ripperu is actually a relatively easy first boss, to be perfectly honest. I enjoy this fight, but you know I am a rather simple person. First he shits red, then he shits green. And then you, you really spin him in see the face. Someone about that. He's dreaming of boxes. So I am going to use my superior I intellect and mathematical skills in order to defeat you. Oh, detonating TNT crate that I can throw at my enemy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh god. Yeah. And done. <laughs> and Smack. in the next part, we will start World 2 of Crash Bandicoot 2 Cortex Strikes Back. Happy days. See how much faster this is? Uh, see how much faster this is when we're not going for 100% cloud?